Psalm 135 verse 5 says, For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Greetings, friends and colleagues. It's Sean Elvis. Do you guys know how inflation works? You know, the more money you print, the less valuable it is, right? Especially if that money that you're printing isn't backed up by anything, right? Today, I'm going to talk about idolatry and worshiping false gods and how it relates to pornography. Specifically, I'm asking the question, does pornography dehumanize women? Does pornography dehumanize women? Well, I think it does. And let me give you my explanation and reasons why. Here we go. Um, I believe pornography is not only a wicked sin, um, but it's idolatry as well. You know, the Bible says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 5, it says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Which is what? Idolatry. Yeah. So, what is an idol? You know, an idol is a false image. You know, it's a, it's a it's a it's an illusion. It's a it's a counterfeit. It's a fake. You know, and the dangerous thing about counterfeits is that if you don't know what the real one looks like, if you don't know what's authentic, um, it's easy for you to get fooled and tricked into uh, purchasing or believing that the counterfeit is real or authentic. You see, the devil. He's a master counterfeiter, you know. I think of money, you know, when I think of the word counterfeit. You know, now money is, uh, is not good unless it's backed by something. You know, even the United States Constitution um, says that the United States dollar is supposed to be backed by gold and silver. Now, it's not backed by gold and silver anymore, but that's a different video. I'm not going to discuss that here today. You see, but just like currency is supposed to be backed by gold... I'm going to argue that sex is also supposed to be backed by God. You see that? You know, just like currency is supposed to be backed by something. Well, marriage is supposed to be backed by God, right? You know, you know, if you're not backing your currency up with gold, it's useless, right? And the more you print, the more useless it becomes. Which is what we're seeing in this country. <laughs> Another video. Anyways, back to my message. You see, many men think that porn is the answer. You know, and they say, Sean, don't you understand? All these women out here are a bunch of whores. <laughs> right? There's no good woman out here. So they turn to porn. They turn to uh, pump and dump. They turn to uh, prostitution and, and escort services as the answer. Now, let me explain what I mean here, why it's not the answer. You know, a woman, she doesn't want to settle down until she feels secure financially, right? Until she feels protected physically, right? You see, a woman is very, uh, um, what's the word, uh, hesitant to settle down, you know, to, to get married unless, uh, unless she's financially secure or... Um, you know, uh, like I said, um, uh, what was the other thing I said? Oh, protected physically, right? And men, you know, they go to great lengths to make sure that the woman feels financially secure. You know, they'll go out and try to make money. They'll, uh, um, and, you know, they'll try to buy her things and impress her and try to prove that, yeah, you know, I could take care of you, you know? And, and things like this, you know? And men, they're very similar. Our, we are very similar, right? In the sense that, you know, a man... You know, he's hesitant to settle down unless he feels secure as well. But for him, it's not so much financially secure, it's sexually secure, right? He wants to know that he can get sex, um, uh, and he's, he's got that taken care of. And, 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 and he also needs to feel emotionally protected, right? Like the woman, she needs to feel physically protected. The man wants to feel emotional um, protection, right? He wants to know that, like, if I tell you uh, what's on my mind and express my emotions, 
you know, you're not going to bash me, you know, things like this. You know what I'm saying, right? Um, and this is why pornography is so destructive for men and women, you know, because it gives the woman the false sense of financial security because, you know, she believes that, oh, if I sell my body, if I give my body away, you know, that the man, he's going to pay for this, right? And he's going to take care of me. And as she's receiving that money, you know, she thinks, oh, well, I'm, I'm secure, right? But, you know, this kind of relationship, this prostitution or the fornication even, is not sanctioned by God, right? And eventually, her good looks are going to fade away and it's not going to be worth anything. It's not going to be worth as much as it used to be. But, you know, this kind of situation is just a quick fix for something that she wishes for right now you know she wants financial security right now she says well if i sell my body the man will provide for me right now you know maybe not long term but this is not sanctioned by god you know and of course her pimp which provides for her you know her false sense of security after she's used up and can't make him any more money she'll just get rid of him and discard him right and as for men you know, the same thing goes for men, you know, as the act of sex provides him a false sense of sexual gratification, right? That that sexual security that he that he longs for, you know, it's just a quick fix, you know, nothing long term, but just something to get him by day to day, day, to day right? And, and the prostitute, the porn star, you know, she can sweet talk him and make him feel like, you know, he's emotionally secure with her, he's safe, you know, nothing to worry about, but again, this kind of uh, relationship is not sanctioned by God. It's a counterfeit. It's a fake. It's an idol. You know, it's not real. And if you participate in this pornography, in this crap, you know, eventually it's going to break you. You know, it's going to break your bank. It's going to break your spirit. It's going to break you emotionally. Um, and the list goes on and on. You know, just like the, the United States dollar, eventually it's going to collapse. Because it's not backed by anything real. It's fake. It's counterfeit. The currency is... Um, it's, it's, it's almost to the point where it's not even worth the paper that's printed on. You know what I'm saying? So I asked the question, you know, do, does pornography dehumanize women? Um, and let me tell you why God hates idolatry so much. You know, because it devalues God. You know what I'm saying? It's like printing off currency that isn't backed by anything. You know, you see, God wants us to give Him the glory in all things. He wants us to be thankful um, that He gave us life. Everything that we have comes from Him, and He wants us to acknowledge that. But when we create something that doesn't come from God, right? And and and, and that's that's what's what the, that's what's called an idol, my friends, right? That's that's what's called creating a graven image. When when you go to a prostitute or a porn star to get what you need, instead of going through God's sanctioned way of marriage, you know that's that's like robbing God, you know. It's like printing money that's not backed by anything. It's like printing money that's not backed by God, right? Let me give you an example. Now, let's say you really wanted to go to the Super Bowl. You know, let's say, let's say you were like, man, I really wish I could go to the Super Bowl this year, you know? And I, and I told you, I said, bro, I got, I got a ticket to the Super Bowl. And I gave you that ticket, right? And, and, and you were so happy. And, but instead of going to the Super Bowl, let's say you sold that ticket. And you went and bought a TV instead. And then you called me up and said, hey, I got this new TV. And I'm like, and then you invited me over and said, hey, come watch the game on this new TV. And I'm like, well, wait a second. Did, didn't I give you a ticket to go to the Super Bowl? <laughs> like, what happened to that? And you're like, oh, I sold it, you know, and I got this TV so we can watch it instead. You know, now, <laughs> that's not really the, the best analogy. Um, but I'm just trying to illustrate the point that, you know, God hates idolatry. You know, in, in, in the same way that the person who uh, gave you that awesome Super Bowl ticket would, would be upset. Like, man, I could have went to the Super Bowl and then you wasted and went and bought a stupid TV, right? You know, see, when God creates something wonderful like marriage, sex, and reproduction, and we sell it off for something cheaper, God says, that's disgusting. You know, that, that sickens me. You know, and the worst part is, the more money you print, the more worthless it is, Right? I mean, with with the clothes that these girls are wearing nowadays, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, everywhere I go, I see a girl wearing skimpy outfits, you know, and the, the new thing is these yoga pants showing off her butt crack, and, and I always make fun of girls for that, but anyway, 
you know, basically all I got to do nowadays is walk out my front door and boom, I'm in a nude show. I'm in a free nude show, like free nakedness, free naked women everywhere, right? Everywhere I look. And some guys, you know, they think, wow, this is great, you know, but but, what they don't realize is this is fake. You know, this is a counterfeit, right? It's a false image. It's It's an idol that the devil has created to tempt you to fall into sin. You know, because he knows that you, as a man, you you desire that sexual um, that sexual uh, protection, that sexual security, right? And he's created a perfect counterfeit, to, to so you can fall right into his trap. You know, he's created these porn stars and this pornography that mimic um, what what a wife is uh, is designed to do for you, right? And, and guys, the point of my video today is not to bash you if you're looking at porn. It's not to bash you if, you, if, you're, um, if you're addicted to that sin, right? Um, I'm not here to shame you. Um, but I'm, I, what I want you to do is wake up. I'm trying to open up your eyes and, and see uh, the, 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 the reality for, um, for what's, what's beyond the veil that's being pulled over our eyes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the reason I'm making this video, guys, is because I want you guys to have a real virtuous woman. You know, somebody who's really going to love you and, and care about you, take care of you, and support you like a wife is supposed to do. You know, you guys, I want you to stop falling for this fake stuff. Stop buying it. Stop watching it. Stop coveting after it. Because the more you consume, the more abundance there's going to be out there. You know, it's simply supply and demand, right? Right? The more whores that you lust after, the more whores that you want, well, hey, that's exactly the more whores that you're going to get. Simple supply and demand, you know. Men nowadays aren't demanding virtuous women. Every time you click on that porn site, every time you check check out that chick over there who's wearing a skimpy outfit, right, that's you saying, hey, I, I want to I worship this false idol instead of the real thing. I don't want the real thing that's backed and sanctioned by God. I want this false idol, this quick fix, this quick easy way, right? And ladies, if there are any ladies watching my videos, you know, every time you go out dressed like a hoe, every time you go out dressed like a, um, you know, in these skimpy outfits trying to attract a man with your body or try to gain financial security on your own and remaining unmarried and single, what you're saying to the man is, hey, I don't want a committed husband. You know, I want a slave. I want a simp, right? I don't want a real man. I don't want a husband. You know, the devil is real good, guys. He's really good at, at convincing women and men that, you know, hey, just fall for this counterfeit. Fall for this pornography. Fall for this debauchery, you know? And, you know, he's, he's, he's trying to tell the women, hey, if a man doesn't make enough money for you, you know, or, or he's not good looking enough, you know, don't submit to him, you know, don't make him your husband, right, don't be his wife, but that's a lie, straight from the devil, you know, he, he wants you to fall into this, into to this sin, right, because he knows if he can get you, woman, if he can get you isolated away from your husband, you're, you're more easy to tempt now, you're more easy to fall into sin, and same with him, right, if he can get us divided, that's his grandmaster plan, but you know what, that's the bad news. The good news of this video, guys, is that, hey, if you study the Bible, if you put your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you turn away from this wicked, this wickedness, you can identify the fakes. You know, you can identify the counterfeits out there. And eventually, you're going to get so good at it that you'll spot a counterfeit a mile away. I mean, if you try to sell... Um, so if somebody tried to sell you fool's gold for thousands of dollars, you wouldn't buy it, right? You'd be like, nah, no way I'm going to buy that. Um, that thing's worth like maybe $2, right? No way I'm buying that for thousands of dollars. You'd be a fool, right? Well, that's exactly what pornography is doing, you know? Why would you want to worship a fake God when you can worship the real, the one true God, the real deal, right? I mean, aren't you sick and tired of being taken advantage of? Now, Now, maybe throughout your life, up until this point or whenever, you know, maybe you bought a bunch of fool's gold before, you know, maybe you wasted a bunch of money and bought a bunch of fool's gold. You know what? Don't beat yourself up. You know, I've done it before, too. I bought some stupid fool's gold and been tricked. Don't worry about it. You know, just toss that fool's gold out. Get rid of it. No worries. And you can learn to spot a counterfeit so you don't have to be tricked anymore. Right. It's no problem. 
anyways, I don't want to keep beating this dead horse because um, I don't want my video to be too long. But anyways, I hope the Holy Spirit taught you guys something today. I hope maybe my words reached you in some way because I pray that you guys turn away from the false idolatry and turn to the Father and start... Um, worshiping the real God, the one true God, and not these false idols. Anyways, until next time, guys, you guys stay strong, and this is Sean Elvis signing off. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. As always, I'm giving God the last word, and today I'm going to be reading um, Proverbs chapter 31, verses 10. The Bible says, Who can find a virtuous woman for her price? is far above rubies. Amen.